Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this picture on a Facebook page and wanted to know how to make this word uh, follow the shape of the heart. And I've already done it and sent them a picture of it, but I thought, you know, I'll make a little quick video and this is what it's going to look like. And this is, that only took me like a minute. So there's probably some correction you can do to it. But you just kind of get the word. Uh, first of all, I'd put it in the center of the page. Maybe move your nudge factor down to a quarter of an inch. And, and that way your word's going to be in the center of your heart. And then while you've got it selected, go over and hit your envelope tool. And it's going to come up with this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just move some nodes around. This is really pretty easy. And then there's nodes you don't need like that one right there. Just delete it and delete it. And you're going to move this one in and this one in, trying to get straight lines. <clears throat> now, when you got your shape tool, if you will turn this center node into a cusp, and what a cusp does, a cusp only allows one direction of the handle to be moved. If I can grab it. So it's only moving one side of the handle and not both. And then just move these down. And you could tweak it, you know, you could spend, you know, a lot more time and maybe get it perfect. And, and then you can move it down. Whoop. Um, so when you're selected on a node, you can actually use your, your, um, arrow keys to, to move it down and move your uh, nudge factor to 0 .001 again. Then you can just minutely move this thing up. And what is pretty neat about the envelope tool, it has not changed your text. It's still a text. So you can, you could use, you know, you can try different text and see what it looks like. Of course, it might change the shape and you might have to reshape it. But uh, I guess it doesn't always work. And, um, but anyway, that's how you do it. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.